people have decided that they want their liberty, their security, and their privacy. We have 74% of Americans don't believe they have to give up privacy for security. Americans across the ideological spectrum believe they do not have to give up their privacy and freedom in order to be safe from terrorism, according to a new report from the Pew Research Center, which has always been true. But, you know, in this post 9-11 world, and let me give you guys a little hint out there, the younger viewers, terrorism did not originate on September 11th. 2001. It's always been there. It's been there in this country. It's been in other countries around the world. So it's nothing new. Gangs, by definition, the Crips, the Bloods, the MS-13 groups, those people are terrorist organizations by definition. So terrorism is nothing new. But they say, we have to keep you safe. We have to uh, fill you up at the airports. We have to have these Border Patrol checkpoints, even though it's nowhere near the border. We have to do all these things. We have to hack your phone. We have to read your email. We have to scan your Facebook page to keep you safe. It's not keeping you safe. All it does is data mines you. It uh, allows them to sell you products. It allows them to track your movements, uh, predict your behavior. That's all it does. It does not keep you safe in the least bit. Because you can notice, uh, think about the Christopher Dorner situation, regardless if you agree with the complete official narrative or not. Think about how one guy supposedly just shell-shocked an entire police department. They didn't know what to do. They were shooting at suspects who didn't match his physical description, shooting at vehicles that didn't match his car. They didn't know what to do, and the only thing they could do was burn that mother effort down. So let's talk about burning down the propaganda surrounding ISIS. ISIS is hiring judges, doctors, and engineers as Al-Qaeda prepares for war against caliphate. The leader of the self-proclaimed Al-Qaeda spinoff nation, forgive me on the name, Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi. In addition to a broad religious call to arms, so to speak, also beckoned workers with specific skill sets to present themselves for duty, namely those with military, medical, and managerial skills were urged to flock to the newly declared state in an audio recording released Tuesday. So we see ISIS or IS or whatever they're called this week with their five-year terror plot. They want to carve up the Middle East. They want to carve up Africa. And we'll see how far they get with this campaign. But somebody whose campaign came to an end was the L.A. County Sheriff's Office when they finally got some justice for people being locked into their facilities. Six in Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department convicted in federal jail probe. After a week of deliberations, a federal court jury in downtown Los Angeles convicted deputies of conspiracy and obstruction of justice. Those charges together carry a potential maximum sentence of 15 years in prison. And these are the type of stories that we need because we know there are bad officers. We know there are bad agents, uh, people in the military willing to do shady things. But these things bring to light the good aspect. Okay, yes, yeah, some people do bad things, but there are also good people out there to stop them. So good to you, L.A. County sheriffs. You guys got some other work to do, but good job on this. And our last story for the segment tonight, report. Virtually all food imported into the U.S. is not inspected by the FDA. An investigation by Fair Warning and the Investigative News Network found that Food and Drug Administration inspectors allow nearly all food imports to enter the country without undergoing visual examination. And some bullet points for you here. 15 percent of the American diet now originates overseas. About 50 percent of the winter fruits and vegetables are brought from other countries. And nearly all seafood eaten by Americans is caught in non-U.S. waters. And I'll be the first one to tell you that I'm not a fan of all things FDA. I'm not a fan of them saying that GMO is good and tasty and safe. But I think it is at least a good idea to visually inspect food that's coming in. You can say, hey, man, those zucchinis look weird. Or, man, that fish looks like it may have been sick. Just something because you go to the grocery store and you may encounter some food that looks a little off. But you assume that somebody at least checked it out. That's not always the case as we see here. So if you want to get some food that you know is good and tasty, you can go to the InfoWars Seed Center. You can find the InfoWars Seed Vault where you can get fruits, vegetables, medicinal herbs. It's all right there at the InfoWarsShop.com. The globalists have controlled the mainstream media for a long time, but now they're expanding, making the weaponization even more vicious and deceptive. All the major networks are state-run. We are partnering this year with the NFL. The NFL has become a political weapon against the Second Amendment and pushes Obamacare. MSNBC tells us that our children belong to the state. We have to break through our kind of private idea that kids belong to their parents or kids belong to their families and recognize that kids belong to whole communities. The brainwashing media machine has been turned 
turned up on high, and it's time for humanity to double down on the true people's media and strike back against the tyrants that are destroying our civilization with their lies and fraud. We are the resistance. You are the resistance. You are the info war. It is more important than ever to realize that we are not the alternative media. We are the true media. The establishment dinosaur press is dying. We are in an information war, and we are losing that war. Join us at InfoWarsNews.com and PrisonPlanet.tv. Members can share their memberships with up to 11 people. By subscribing, you will literally be buying war bonds in the Info War to expand our operation in the face of the tyrants. Join us at PrisonPlanet.tv.